Hey everybody, welcome back to another Creative tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at Creative 5. So Creative 5 has a lot of different changes. So we're going to just take it a li little bit by bit and not just jump into everything because a lot has changed. So for starters, if you have already downloaded Creative 5, you'll notice things look a little different. Every icon, I believe, has been updated to something a little bit nicer, a little more cleaner, and it definitely catches you off guard because half the time I'm looking over here, I thought I had new options and I'm like, oh no, that's just a new icon. So I want to actually reset my workspace to the default. So if you are new to Krita, we can take a look at everything together. Exactly how it is when you install it for the first time. So up here you have your um, settings, or your uh, tool options and everything like that. Your file, edit, view, image, layer, all that fun stuff. If you're not sure what Krita version you have, you can go to help and about Krita, and that'll show you here. Then you have your tools and stuff, which is what it's called, under the settings, dockers, I'm sorry, not uh, toolbar shown, which is brushes and stuff. You take that off, disappears. Put that back on. And then the file options are here. So you have new file, open, save, and then here you have your undo and your redo and some other stuff that we'll go over later. On the left, you have all these tool options. You got your brush, your vector, slash shape layer, or, op, or brushes, uh, your transform tools, gradient, color pickers, assistant tools, and selection options as well. On the right, you have your advanced selector, your tool options, your layers, and your brush presets. There's nothing immediately that has changed on the interface level minus the icons, but a lot of these tools and things have new features or have updates to them to make things a little bit easier on you. Before I end this video, I do want to go over the pop-up palette changes just because they're very simple and brief, nothing drastic, just a little update. So for one, everything looks nicer and cleaner. You have your quick brush settings over here your opacity, your angle, spacing, all that, which you can minimize. And then you have the mirror and the zoom here, which you can also minimize if you don't use those options. If you have a brush history here, um, or color history here, you have like 10 colors, you don't want that because it'll show up around this outer edge here as well. You can hit refresh and it'll clear all that out. If you want to change the tag of your brush or the group that you, you want displayed here in the pop-up palette, you can change that with the tag icon. So as you can see, the less brushes you have, the, much, the more the appearance is going to change. So I have a ton of crayon brushes tagged, and they're all showing for the set amount they have it. I do have a video on how to change this if you want more brushes showing, or if you want less. So I can link that in the description below, and you can go take, that, take a look at that, because that has not changed. My only gripe so far with Krita 5 is the fact that this happens. I don't like how spaced out these icons are. I would like them to be back in a circle here because I'm used to that. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way over here for one brush when I only have five brushes here. But that's just me. It's a user issue with me. Nothing wrong with Krita itself. I'll get used to it. I'll get over it. So yeah, that's basically it for the Krita 5 interface. I figure I show it with something interesting in the background and not just a blank canvas like I normally do. If you're new to Krita, make sure to kind of play around with the few things I showed. I'll go over the different workspaces next because there is an update to these as well. Um, I have my custom workspace down here, or sorry, here. So we'll go over some of the workspaces in the next video before we jump into any of the settings that were changed for the tool options and the dockers and everything else. And the animation workspace will get its own video because that's a very big change. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have anything you want me to go over specifically in Creative 5, let me know in the comments below because a lot has changed and I'm sure I'm going to forget or miss something. <laughs> thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you in the next video.